The Kentucky Department of Fish and Wildlife Resources, the Nature Conservancy, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, and the National Fish and Wildlife Foundation have come together on a landscape scale voluntary conservation agreement. This historic conservation milestone will provide 54,636 acres of private land in eastern Kentucky to outdoor enthusiasts and provide a protected habitat for Kentucky's elk population. Kentucky um, has the largest elk herd in the U.S. east of the Rocky Mountains. It's a tremendous success story, the, the reintroduction of elk to Kentucky, numbering over 10,000 animals now. So for us to have this property that we've protected within the elk zone, it allows partners such as um, the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation, Nature Conservancy, to, to fund and implement habitat work on those lands to improve the quality of the habitat, not just for elk, but for deer, turkey, migratory songbirds. Um, it'll have a lot of long lasting benefits on these reclaimed coal lands, but it's just a big win for, for wildlife. Make your ride one of a kind and see the experts at JM Custom Auto and Off Road. It's your customization candy store. Visit jmcustomauto.com and select your make and model. It's that easy. Window tinting, remote starts, leather interiors, sound systems, front and rear bumpers, spray in bed liners, bed covers, wheels and tires, lift kits, step rails, even underglow light kits, and so much more. If you can dream it, we can do it at JM Custom. KDFWR will manage the acreage for wildlife habitat, public recreation, sustainable forestry, and clean water. This project connects 274,000 acres of land stretching into Tennessee. The Appalachian Mountains are actually one of the most diverse landscapes in all of the world. It, it's phenomenal. And so to have the opportunity to protect some of that at this scale is really unique. This will be the largest conservation easement um, in Kentucky. And being able to ensure public access forever um, for all generations, that's just um, uh, massive. Um, no one's making any more land. Um, we have what we have. So to be able to permanently lock that up um, for future um, use is just tremendous. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.